Uh, my name is Beth Palmer, I'm the Program Director here at the Tybee Island Marine Science Center and we're here talking about sea jellies that are fun off our coast and what you do if you happen to run into one and get stung. Uh, we have roughly eight species of sea jelly-like creatures found off our coast. Some may be found here year-round and some are only found in various seasons. Uh, so right now we're right around mid-July and that's when we do start seeing the ones that have stronger stings like our moon jellies, box jellies, and sea nettles. Our most common species is the cannonball jelly. Uh, they can be found here year-round and luckily for us they don't have a very strong sting. Most of us don't feel their sting if you do it's a kind of a slight irritation um, and that's actually a kind that we as humans can eat. Um, and believe it or not, catching cannibal jellyfish off our coast is our third largest commercial fishery in Georgia. And most of them we send over to Asia where they consume them as side dishes or salads and even add them to ice cream as well. Jellyfish, uh, they're very unique animals. They've actually been around longer than the dinosaurs, over 500 million years. Um, but they don't have bones or eyes or uh, uh, brain. Um, pretty much all they have is their mouth and stomach, their reproductive organs. They do have nerves so they can sense what's going on around them, uh, but they have no brain to process the information. So scientists are kind of stuck by that, that because we have nerves, but we have a brain to process it, um, but they don't, so they're very unique. Um, if you do happen to get stung by a jellyfish, um, just kind of rub it with sand and wash off with salt water and that helps get any, any embedded sting cells out of your skin and then once you do that wash off with salt water and go uh, visit a lifeguard or grab some vinegar somewhere um, to help with the pain and then afterwards just take uh, Benadryl um, but they don't intend to sting us um, they're not very good swimmers so they often get caught up in the waves and tides and bump into us um, and their venom gets into our bloodstream in a matter of microseconds when they do bump into us so if you happen to see a jellyfish wash up on the beach it's good not to touch it just in case because they can actually sting you even after they dead and it could ha be one that does have a strong sting so it's better just kind of leave them alone just in case.